In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the secret to rap vocal compression and how you can utilize this technique to sound like the pros. Let's get straight into it. As always, check the links in the description for my vocal enhancer, the brand new beat enhancer, as well as my vocal recording course and vocal mixing course. Let's hop straight into it. So yeah, man, firstly, before we actually show you some things, I want to kind of explain to you the process of how we record in a pro studio because you if you can utilize these techniques you're pretty much doing the same thing as what any studio in LA in New York wherever all the big cats are recording they're doing the same thing right we, we all have the same tools these days especially due to the fact that we can record with digital so what we do is if we pull up a microphone um somebody's generally gonna I mean you, you have to use a microphone preamplifier but the signal chain will go mic preamp into a compressor into the box and then make use of digital compression that's what we're going to be doing um, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to be pulling up these two compressors to act as our um, analog compressors, right? So you can visually see what's going on on the screen. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So what I like to do personally is I use a Yuri LA4 because I don't have a LA2A. Um, but it is almost the same. This uses tubes whereby this is solid state. So it has a slightly different sound, but it compresses in the same way. So I want you to be able to see how much I'm compressing or how much I'm willing to compress during recording and why I'm willing to compress during recording, right? Um, this whole technique utilizes stacking compression. That's basically what I'm trying to show you in this video. And I'll kind of show you how to go around that, right? So, you know, when I'm recording, I want to see this much compression, right? So let's play the track. Whip straight out to space. I put Kush all in my zag. Hop in that whip and we just race. She wagging white like cocaine. Rock star life like Cobain. We not the same and I'm insane. He a goofy, he a lame. All this gear just cost some change. I don't want to talk now. I'll be in the studio. Trap phone, trap for my plug name, Julio. iPhone, iPhone, these girls keep stalking me. Rough, long, polo, yeah, these girls want to ride on me. Yo. So as you can see right there, you know, depending on how loud the voice is, it just kind of taps at 1 to 2 dB. The reason I do that is because I want the vocal to already sound nice and leveled when it comes into the box. Okay, there you go. You can see the waveforms are nice and fat. Um, that way we, we've got the emotion. We're not over compressing it, but we also have tamed the vocal. So that way, once we start our full on mix, we've already done the bulk of the work, right? So that's what I like to do. Um, so what I'd recommend you do if you don't have an expensive waves plugin or uad plugin all you need to do is just add your um you know fruity compressor your stock compressor and then add the parameters the same as if uh, for example here i've got a star level style compressor right and why does that not load oh there it is yeah and all you want to do is kind of imitate what you would be doing with a analog compressor you know the release time is slow so you'd want to slow down the release if the attack time is slow you'd want to slow down the attack and that way you're going to get a more kind of gluey sounding vocal so i would recommend you try that technique out um you know during the recording phase that way you can kind of hear your vocal as if it's about 60 to 70 percent done from there on out once you have done your recording right you can keep that on so let's just say all of that was on mine are obviously hard recorded into the vocals so they're already there um, I can then start doing my other levels of compression. And as you can see, I compress in stages. Now, why do I compress in stages? I compress in stages because every compressor, no matter if it's digital or analog, will compress in a different way and also add a different flavor to our mix, right? So for example, I like to use the LA4A or LA2A style compressors to add a nice kind of glue sound to the vocals, right? Then I'll add a nice little SSL style compressor, which again is a different type of compressor. We're going from kind of a tube opto style of compression to a more VCA based DBX style compressor. And this is going to add a little bit of kind of pop and volume to my vocal. So you can see how I'm blending the two together. I'm getting buttery with the, with the LA2A and then I'm getting kind of snappy and poppy with the SSL style compressor. And stacking these compressors starts to really morph my vocal into something interesting. From then on out, I then do another stage of glue compression so that I can actually glue the vocal even more after EQ. So you can see I've got all of these compressors in different stages in the mix um, that are going to help me achieve the overall final sound of a glued vocal. Uh, you know, a lot of people make the mistake of just compressing heavily once and that doesn't work because all it's going to do is squeeze the heck out of the compressor that you have and it's going to kind of make the vocal sound lifeless. So if you add a little bit of compression on each stage you're going to get a much better overall sound so you know that's how much compression i'm using when recording vocals um from then on out that's pretty much it right i've got my mix and i can kind of touch up 
on different stages. So if I felt, man, maybe a little bit more ratio on the, the on the uh, SSL style compressor, I can go and do that. Maybe I want to glue it a bit less or maybe a bit more. I can use the R compressor for that. Um, all of these things will help my overall sound. So hopefully this video made sense. Um, hopefully you can, you know, try out these techniques, stack your compressors in layers, right? You could use a stock compressor even, but to me, it's kind of a bit boring. There are a lot of free options. You can try out uh, analog obsession, make a lot of interesting stuff. For example, this right here, you know, they've got the SSL bus compressor, um, a Neve style compressor, right? All sorts of cool things. They are um, unlimited options, man. I mean, it's a good time to be alive and to mix. So hopefully you enjoyed the video as always check the links below, support the channel and I'll check it next time. Peace out.